Welcome back to the channels guys or welcome to the channel. If you're new, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos. So it's been a couple of days since I've really done Marvel based videos. Been doing a bunch of DC stuff as DC has a lot of interesting topics at the moment. So there's a few interesting stories to go over. Now the Avengers franchise is dead. It's done. It's dusted. No, this is not clickbait. This is actually factually correct. According to Disney CEO Bob Iger, says the Marvel Cinematic Universe is now in a post-Avengers world. So it makes sense. It makes clinical sense. It makes sense why there's been no announcement about, you know, another Avengers movie, the new Avengers, or anything like that. So what is good, YouTube? Watched you here. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to never miss any pop culture-based videos. We focus on Marvel, DC, and video games, and a bunch of other stuff that we're bringing to the channel. So if we ever hit 100,000 subscribers, I will be giving away PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X or a Switch with any of any game. But let me know, guys. The competitions are real on this channel so that is cool it's going to be happening whenever the channel hits 100,000 subscribers so are you scared that we've got no avengers now i don't really know why i'm making this part of the marvel rabbit report because we knew this was going to come you're not going to disassemble the avengers and then two three years later make another movie now we've got the full slate for phase four including a plethora of TV shows. Moon Knight, Miss Marvel, She-Hulk, War Stew movie or TV show in rumours. I don't know. Uh, I've not confirmed anything yet. But we've got a lot of things coming. So it's no secret that Phase 4 is heading into a very different approach. And I don't know if it's going to be successful with the audience we've got. So people hate it when I say this, but the Marvel movies are aimed at children. They're aimed at young people. Yes, I know adults can like them. That's not what I said. Don't try and twist what I say down in the comment section because I know that happens a lot. So recently during a earnings call with investors last night as the time of recording this video, Disney CEO Bob Iger addressed the future of the MCU and made some interesting remarks moving forward without the team. They're not really that interesting, guys, because we've known this. He's literally just talking more business talk, so to speak. In Marvel's case, I'm calling it a post-Avengers world. It doesn't mean there aren't films being made with characters from the Avengers, Iger explained. Now, why would you need that explaining? We know that. We know Black Widow's coming. Sometimes I think when these corporate people start talking to business people, it's like they're trying to explain it so anyone could realise it. We know there is going to be movies with people from the Avengers film. That is nothing new. In fact, we have Black Widow coming out in the fiscal 20, essentially the fiscal business year, 2020, in other words. And a Thor 4 movie in the works, and I can go on and on. We also are mining other characters like The Eternals. So there's a lot of team-up movies coming out. The Eternals is essentially a team-up movie where they could set up a lot of new things because Celestials and Deviants, they're still around in the current day. So there's no need to kind of go off on a tangent thinking i'm not gonna watch these movies because iron man is no longer going to be in the universe well sorry guys iron man is not going to be in this universe anyway so he went on in other words while members of the avengers will continue to play a role in this shared world along with plenty of other characters from comic books the team has seamlessly been disassembled for now avengers disassemble we just need steve rogers to confirm that however it's hard to believe that the team will be gone forever Especially after Avengers Endgame box office success. Um, the Joker made more money with a really low budget. So success, yeah. Gross success, not really. Joker movie, guys, has just smashed. It is the highest rating profitable movie in the world. And it's like less than $30 million away from hitting $1 billion. So yeah, not just Marvel having success. Come on, guys. Let's give it up for the Joker movie. Absolutely smashed it. Best movie of the year. Or is it? So essentially, we're still going to get team up movies. We are still getting team up movies inside other movies. So essentially, the whole cinematic universe has to move on. Not just Spider-Man without Tony Stark. The whole universe has to move on. But as we know, Doctor Strange 2. You know, Wanda's going to be in there. WandaVision, they're both Avengers. So there's going to be a lot of movies. Thor, I mean, Thor, the Thor movie is essentially going to, again, probably have Scarlet Witch in it. 
you know, Loki is an Avenger. So there is going to be different team up movies in the cinematic universe. We have the Bucky and Falcon show that's currently in production. They're currently making that show for the Disney Plus streaming service. It doesn't even come out in the UK until March 31st, so who cares? But, so it is a bit, it's a bit condescending because they are Avenger team up movies. They're just not directly calling it Avengers. So it's not like it's going to be, they're not going to wait another 10 years till they do the next Marvel team up. And you know, there's been rumors that the Inhumans are getting a new show or movie, you know, the Fantastic Four, you know, Vin Diesel is being rumored to play Black Bolt, and I keep hearing the same thing, and the same thing, and the same thing, we have Moon Knight coming to this universe, who essentially is Marvel's variation of Batman, and I'm hearing that Stephen Amell, ex-Arrow star, now Arrow's finished with, he's going to be taking on the role of Moon Knight, apparently Captain Britain is coming to the MCU, Henry Cavill is in the firing line, well, he, he was Superman. He's been in Mission Impossible. He's got the Witcher, the Geralt role. The Geralt role. So, I mean, it's a pretty good choice if they can get him. So, what we're saying here, guys, on this channel is do not worry. Then we've got Blade, the Fantastic Four, X-Men. There's going to be a lot of new teams they need to build before they can assemble. But like I keep saying with people like other YouTubers, like heavy spoilers, they're not really going to have a team up until you got someone on Galactus level. Because if the, the trilogy for the Fantastic Four movie is actually true, then you know they do something small, like someone small like a Nihilist first, then maybe Kang, then maybe Galactus. So it's going to take a long while, you know, before you need... 25 people to go one-on-one -on -one with the Great One. But Galactus is the devourer of planet. So even if you have got all the Avengers, all the new Avengers like Shang-Chi and all these cool characters that we have spoken about on length on this channel, Doctor Strange 2, so many cool movies, Black Widow coming out soon. We're getting the trailer next month supposedly, but that's just people talking about it. So it is interesting, but don't worry guys, there is going to be more Marvel Cinematic movies. Bob Iger's been speaking a lot recently, saying there is going to be more Star Wars movies and more Star Wars trilogies and more Star Wars shows, which is very interesting. So that is one of the stories and Endgame is officially going to launch on the 12th of November on the Disney streaming service and you guys cannot wait to watch it, but those people in Europe cannot watch it unless you live in the Netherlands. I don't get why the Netherlands get stuff before the rest of the world. And what is interesting, guys, is someone said to me that UK is irrelevant when it comes to movies and video games in the comment section. And I found this comment really weird because you know a lot of movies get made in England. The Eternals movie, you know, Spider-Man Far From Home, big proportion, Venom 2, Morbius, The Batman 2021 shooting here. England, UK, is very important to Hollywood movies as a total. Now, I'm only addressing this because I'm quite surprised, you know, Harry Potter, The Golden Compass, so many movies have been made in UK. So they aren't all made in LA or Atlanta, although a good portion are. So guys, chill. Me being a bit annoyed that the Star Wars show isn't going to be accessible without a VPN in UK until March is... Not me like ranting, it's just saying, hang on a minute, UK's a big market when it comes to, you know, the gross profit of a movie or the global record. Like outside of America and China, UK is one of the highest for movies. People go insane for movies over here. A lot of people spend money on video games and movies over here. So the UK is quite an important country for companies, for movies and stuff. So whoever said that in the comment section, you got a reaction. So, also in the news, the story that I've covered multiple times, at least on this channel, is The Rock is going to be Black Adam, apparently. So that starts shooting in 2020, come out for 2021. But The Rock Namor for Black Panther 2, coming out in 2022, rumor is recirculating around the internet again. Now, I can neither confirm or deny because I don't work for Marvel Studios, but I keep hearing the same thing, that Rock is definitely going to be a role. Is it going to be the thing? Is it going to be Namor? Is it going to be War Stu? No, he's never going to play War Stu. Why did I even say that? Because I tried to be funny. And some of you guys get it. So the same rumor is circulating about The Rock being Namor. Maybe he is. Maybe he isn't. I'm just here to break down some interesting stories. So 
Also in the news, the Eternals movie is going to be wrapping up in the next month or so. There's been a lot of really cool imagery. We see Athena's outfit. We see what I believe to be Black Knight, Kit Harrington's uniform outfit, which I think they're trying to keep out of media and YouTubers and stuff like this, but I'm pretty sure there is an image of it. I will be doing a new Eternals video tomorrow as we do have some new info that is coming through to the studio. And thanks to you guys, I've built a little studio, which once I finish building it and got a green screen and stuff, I can show it off and maybe I'll do some proper videos with my face. Maybe. So also in the news, Black Knight and She-Hulk get a serious writer. As you guys know on the channel, I am fan casting Stephen Amell to be Moon Knight, who essentially is Marvel's version of Batman and Arrow essentially is a different variation of Batman in a way. So the Jeremy Renner Hawkeye Disney streaming show. Rumoredly, this is an interesting story, I think. It was meant to be a movie, but it's being downgraded to a TV show, which it's very, very interesting to me. Whether it had anything to do with all the drama that came out and we can't really confirm or deny if any of that information is true. So, Jeremy Slater, who created the Netflix comic book adaptation of The Umbrella Academy, has been chosen to lead the writing team on Moon Knight, while Rick and Morty's Pickle Rick writer, Jessica, will take charge of the writing team for She-Hulk. Slater is no stranger to the superhero genre. Having co-written in 2015, not so well received Fantastic Four movie starring Michael B. Jordan, etc. You know the one that everyone slates? Yeah, that one. So it is pretty interesting that these TV shows are starting to ramp up. What do you guys expect? But what is also interesting about the She-Hulk writer is she is meanwhile an Emmy winner writer with credits ranging from Rick and Morty to Silicon Valley. So it's looking like Marvel are not messing around. They are putting a lot of money into these streaming shows with the writers, with a cast, with how everything looks. Rumoredly, some of the shows are going to have $25 million per episode, which is just as good as the budget for, you know, Game of Thrones Season 7, which is, was an abomination. So what is interesting is obviously Disney streaming service is coming out and literally, what day is it? In two days, three days, three days, I think. Yeah, it's coming out very soon for you guys in America, but for you guys in UK that they don't really care about which is a very bad thing, but I've already spoken about that in a different video. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I will catch you in another video. But also, guys, I posted a Marvel Avengers new video today. If you haven't seen it, I'll leave it at the card at the end of this video. Please watch it, because I want them videos to do cool, because I really am looking forward to that video game. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll catch you in another video very soon. Catch you later.